5 quick items worth getting in Sekiro Rice Eating rice in Sekiro will actively regenerate your health greatly. This item can be very helpful when you are fighting mid to end game bosses, as they tend to deal a lot of damage. You can use it during one of those challenging battles when you want to overwhelm your enemy with attacks, while not worrying too much about backing away to use your healing gore, or it can also be used as a last resort to heal if you are in a tough spot. The rice you will find about mid game of your playthrough, and it is given to you by an NPC that you meet. You can only carry one at a time, so you will only have one time use per battle, or while you carry it. This item can also be improved even further by doing the NPC's questline, which will turn the rice into a new item, Fine Snow. I was not able to get footage of using the rice since I had already upgraded my rice to find snow, but it works in the same way and it's slightly better. Since this item you won't find early in the game, the alternative to this for early game would be the pellet, which has the same effect but on a smaller scale. Dragon's Blood Droplet the Dragon's Blood Droplet is an important item to get, especially if you die a lot like I did. This item can be helpful to you by healing Dragon Rot, which is spread after you suffer multiple full deaths. That means if you died beyond the point of using your resurrective power and respond at an item. Dragon Rot will make the NPCs in the game sick and prevent you from continuing their quest lines. <laughs> As of now, it's not confirmed if Dragon Rot can kill an NPC, but if you have spread Dragon Rot, it would be best to cure it, which is why the Dragon's Blood Droplet is an important item to have, especially early in the game, as even experienced players had trouble adjusting to Sekiro's fast paced combat system. The Dragon Blood Droplet can also be used to restore your resurrective power, but this is not as important of a use for it, since you can easily restore your resurrective power by killing enemies. On top of that, there are only 17 Dragon's Blood Droplets you can obtain per playthrough, and you are only allowed to carry one at a time. Modeled Purple Gourd The Modeled Purple Gourd is an item that gives you terror resistance and reduces any terror buildup but does not cure any terror status. The purple gourd is very useful when fighting enemies who afflict terror. This is because the terror status will be instant death. This can be bothersome when fighting some enemies who inflict you with terror, like apparition enemies, and a few other exceptions. It is best to at least have this in your inventory, even if you are afflicted by terror, you have a chance to reduce the buildup and add the resistance before you succumb to your death. This item can be found mid-game and is sold by a merchant. The pacifying agent is a good substitute for early game and it has the same effects as the purple gourd, but it's only a single use, whereas the purple gourd has 5 uses and can be refilled by resting at a sculptor item. Divine Confetti The Divine Confetti is a buff to your sword that lets you deal more damage and extends the range of your attacks. You will want to save these to fight apparition type enemies since it's the only way that you can actually do damage to them. You can use the Divine Confetti against normal enemies to deal additional damage. You will find Divine Confetti early in the game scattered through the world. It will be a limited amount until later in the game where you can farm from specific enemies or buy it from merchants. Coin Purses Probably the item most worth having at all times since without you cannot get any items in Sekiro along with any upgrades on your tools. This is because in Sekiro when you die you lose half of your earned experience and Zen which is the currency in Sekiro and you cannot get it back. At first you may not have a lot of Zen saved and it is not as big of an issue to lose half, but once you start accumulating more, it becomes an issue. It is extremely beneficial to find a merchant and trade for coin purses. 
This will allow you to save your money in a bag which you can use or sell to get 90% back of the cent from the purchase. While keeping it safe in a bag, even if you were to die, you will not lose any cent in a coin purse, allowing you to save up to buy more expensive items from merchants or upgrades on your prosthetic tools. And those are the five items I believe are worth getting in Sekiro. Tell me what do you think of my list? Were any of these helpful to you? If not, leave a comment down below and tell me what items you believe are worth getting. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe stay tuned to check out my next video with the 5 quick items that are not worth getting. Well, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.